Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Matt. It is good to be back as per usual. Doesn't really seem like much is going to be going on anytime sooner. <laughs> Anyways, we got my piano. We don't have my saxophone today. Sorry, just piano, just to keep everything running smoothly. Keep the YouTube algorithm happy. You know how that is for anyone else who's content creator. So you gotta keep them one thing at a time. It's anyways. Let's see. There's lots of things that have been going on lately. I'll be dead honest. I got a few things coming up. Uh, for one, during a month or two, I got a cool little band concert coming up. It's from some of the many songs that I have been playing. It's pretty cool. Not gonna lie. It's um, a bunch of people. I can even name some of the few people that I personally like a lot inside uh, during the band. Uh, we got a pal of mine. His name is Cleary, Henry Cleary. He's a really good um, tenor saxophone player, and he also plays a clarinet during the concert band. Uh, shout outs to him if he's going to be watching because I am. I can't. I can't deny he's taught me a few things here and there that I really appreciate of for him teaching me. Then there's his brother, who's a good percussionist. I'll be surprised of how good a percussionist he is. Uh, even though he's still a freshman like me, um, he has definitely proven himself on the drums and instruments that he's played. Of course, I'm not a percussionist, even though I play piano, so I don't even know what drums do what. Only I know is the snare drum is because that's the one thing that we march to during uh, military classes. Speaking of military classes, fun fact, the only reason why we probably have a band at our school is to play the national anthem for a few very minor events. National anthem at our school and the Cadet Rouser, which is a really fun song. I don't know how to play it on piano, and I'll be quite frank with you, I do not know how to play it on the saxophone either. Nice to see you, piano. Wow. Um... Thank you. I mean, there's a few reasons why I wanted to do piano. First off, change of pace. I've been doing saxophone quite a lot often. Uh, because um, the concert coming up, we only have a short amount of time before we can actually go to the concert. It's in before the concert comes. Excuse me. I cannot speak today. Uh, the reason we... We have a concert coming up, so I've been practicing a lot, a lot of that lately. But I also need to do piano practice. It's all really fun. It takes a while for all of this schnamics to go on. It really takes a little while for everything to, you know, get steady. It doesn't really seem like much, but every note has meaning in, during when we play. Every note, every sound. Now I'm thinking about, I wonder what's it like to be the conductor of a barely functional band like ours. I mean, like, I do suggest, like, next year, well, not, excuse me, next school year, you come to one of the St. Thomas Academy football games because there's a good chance that we'll be marching at uh, one of the home games. And I am surprised. It takes a lot of work to march. It is surprisingly a lot of work, especially during the hot summer. It is very, very strange. Um, it's also really hot. Surprisingly, in Minnesota last year, it was too hot, unbearably hot. Uh, especially when we had to march half of this giant jog about this big, this tall. That's the only thing that kept me alive during those hot summers. It took way too long. The only reason why we're able to somewhat function was because of the huge amounts of uh, these, like, little pads. We'd place down these, like, little pads, and then we'd have to memorize where those pads are. Now that I think about it, I've probably forgotten where all these pads go. I also know that I probably had to make up a lot of things on the spot uh, because people just will decide to leave the band midway through or will just in the beginning tell Mr. Connolly, my band director, hey, I'm going to be in band. But then like the two weeks later, they're going to say, actually, no, I'm not going to be in band. 
I don't care. And then what was supposed to be three tenor saxophones becomes one tenor saxophone because, well, even though Cleary is a tenor saxophone during the marching band, he's also one of the, I forgot what they're called, but basically they're like the pseudo conductors when the conductor is not there. It's kind of like section leader, except he doesn't ever play during marching and he doesn't have to march. It's like a special version of marching. It's pretty strange. I'm trying my best to sign up for it right now. It's definitely a bit of a struggle because I need to know how to conduct and also like you go do this with that hand motion and the one, two, three, four, however the hell it goes. It's really confusing on how all that schemic work. Anyways, um, it takes a lot of skill. The reason why I'm doing my electric piano because it be excuse me. The reason why I'm doing the electric piano instead of the um other piano is for one. I am at my grandma's house. My grandma's house has this piano, while the other one has is at Shakopee, which is my usual home. But another reason why is because I personally like to go around with this piano more than the other piano. Although I do think that the grand piano that I have back at home is significantly better when it comes to sound. Uh, this piano, you can, it's a little bit more, I don't know, simpler on the eyes, I guess. Uh, it's pretty evident that I've been doing a lot of piano on that other piano. This one is significantly newer. It's also supposed to have a bunch of other cool functions with this, but it's, I'm still learning, trying to figure out which functions go do what. It does definitely still taking me a while to figure out how to, you know, do all of the small things that I definitely don't know how to do. Through and through, I personally think that I okay. Now that I'm thinking about, it, I don't know which one is better or which one is worse. All I, if I remember correctly, electric pianos tend to be on the cheaper side of things. So if you're thinking of getting a piano, I would suggest going for electric just to start. But if you have a little bit more, you can always go for a uh, regular piano instead of an electric one. Electric also comes with a bonus that you can uh, change what sound is it using like little things here and cool sounds. It's really not much, but hey, um, children love it. I'll be dead honest. Sometimes whenever we have guests or I need to sort of semi babysit, I'll just turn on the piano and I say, go do it. Have fun. And they'll just, you know, press buttons, completely mess up the settings, and then I get the amazing ability to start, you know, uh, fixing the whole piano again because the settings on here is completely jacked. That takes a little bit of a while, but hey, at least I don't have to deal with them for a good 10 minutes before they get bored of the random sounds this thing can make. Check down in the uh, description below. You can see what uh, things we can I can play. It's not a big amount of songs. It's just because these are the songs that I know from the top of my head are the ones that I am going to be practicing because I need to for my next piano concert or just that songs that I just know from the top of my head from experimenting one of my favorite bands of all time, Imagine Dragons, is one of the many songs that I know of. I used to know how to play Demons, which is another one of their well-known songs. But uh, I, for one reason, I couldn't find the notes anywhere, so I couldn't really remember how to play it. So all these songs, I'm going to be playing from heart. So if I completely mess up on something, um, let's just say that I'm kind of sorry. I really never intended to miss out on a song, it really does take a while to memorize so many songs and in such a short time, not to mention. And even if it's over a long time, I don't practice every song constantly. I practice the ones that I need to practice because, well, what's the point of practicing 
the old songs more often than the newer songs that I need to work on. It only really makes sense that I work on the more painful of the songs, to say the least. Now, you also see down below that I'll have Moonlight Sonata ready for us. Um, it's still a big work in progress. If you know anything about Moonlight Sonata, you know that it is a very beautiful but long song. I barely know the first inversion, I think it's what it's called. And so um, with that, I will begin everything that I want to do. So please enjoy the show. I'm still learning that song because it is a hard song to memorize. I'll leave it out. Thank you. 
Deadly Frag. Could you please play that one? Um, sure, I'll play that again. I played the melodical version that I made up on the spot one day and liked it. What is this one? Well, fun fact, Megalovania is a song from is, from, is a song from a game called Undertale. It is a famous game for being an indie game studio by Toby Fox. A small part of Moonlight Sonata, please. Um, all right, I'll do Moonlight Sonata again, but first let me get um the request from Booked One from Megalovania. <laughs> recognize the song at first it's because i added my own little pedazzle to it so i already played it i mean like gotta keep myself entertained somehow while entertaining everybody else anyways the small part of moonlight sonata up next i'm 
so sorry to whoever requested this. That's all I can really play for Moonlight Sonata. Sorry for whoever requested it and wanted the full thing. Uh, um, I, I will do better next time, I hope. Anyways, let's see. Favorite. Uh, 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 I'm about to play it, in fact. <laughs> I'll play it again. One, two, and, and you go. song so much because of that little middle part right here. Is that that middle part? It just sounds so romantic, I guess. It's the right boys that I'm looking for here. Anyways, time for the more upbeat songs. Yippee.
that as well as I'd hope. saxophone notes, but here's another version of the Magic Dragons Believer. <laughs>
music. Yeah, it was pretty funny. Too bad he died. everything done hope everyone has a lot of fun thank you goodbye peace